On this week's vlog, we're going to talk about Aquascape's Ion Gen system, which is a product they offer to help control the growth of string algae in your ponds. An example of a situation where you might want to actually install or use your Ion Gen is when you see the growth of string algae, which isn't always a bad thing. String algae just indicates that you have a healthy pond, but it's unsightly. We just don't want to see it. You know, it's, it, it's stringy and it gets on your falls and, and uh, grows on your gravel and it, it just really dumps stuff up um, aesthetic wise. For those of you that don't know what string algae is, it looks like this is string algae. And it's starting to show up on our fish cave rock under our fillet bowl. This is what it is and this is what it does. This is why most people don't like to see it. You know, it's just kind of a nuisance. And it's pretty invasive. It'll, it'll blow up pretty fast in the hot summer months. What we're trying to do here with the Ion Gen is to basically knock this out before it starts. Included with your Ion Gen system is an alkalinity test and a copper test. And these are great for testing your water to make sure that your copper doesn't exceed 0.25 parts per million and your alkalinity is in a range between 100 and 250 parts per million. Make sure you test your water before installing your ion gen system. Got our ion gen here. We're going to start putting it in the skip car. Notice you have your probe, your flow chamber, and your control panel. So what this is, this is your flow chamber, and this is if you're doing a direct inline installation in the <coughs> your recirculation lines in between your pump and your bio falls. what this does is it holds this right here. It holds your probe. It holds your probe. And suspension directly in line with as much flow as possible that you can get going through those probes. The whole reason behind that is you want all that flow and all that water passing through those probes so they get ionized and that's what's actually controlling the growth of your string out. But we're not going to put it in line today. We're just going to put it inside our skimmer box. If you are a homeowner and have purchased this, um, I'm going to show you the way that we install most of our probes. It's a lot simpler. Um, no tools required. It takes five minutes. It's painless and easy. Okay, so once you get everything out of the box, the first thing that I always do is I hook my probe to my control panel. And it's real simple. You have the hook attached in. They just have the two prongs. It snaps in there. And you tighten it up and you have a watertight connection. And then you're going to take the other end out of your control panel. You're going to attach it to the transfer. Then you're going to get your smoke holder out of the box. This is going to allow you to attach your probe directly to your check valve pump right inside your skimmer box.
high on probe and it's maybe hard to see but it just slides right down into that holder and it holds it lets it rest right on that check valve so you get a nice constant steady flow of water across the probe so once you've got your probe installed um, you can come to your control panel and you can adjust the rate to which you are ionizing the water. Um, it ranges from 1 to 10. I suggest if you have fish and plants in your pond not to put it above a 4. Um, keep it between 1 and 4 and you're doing pretty good but you just have to adjust it according to the amount of string algae that's in your pond. Let me get a wait. Let me get a close up of his face. Ooh, little guy. Found this guy on the side of the road. We're gonna surprise our boys with him. Man, he's fast. What if he just like goes out of the pond and never comes back? Nice. 